I think outbound is being redefined every single day. I don't care how good you were outbound five years ago. We need to reinvent the game. Therefore, to reinvent the game, you need the most versatile and smartest people. You know, AI yeah. and agents are a buzzword. Sometimes they're not even needed. It's just like simple code that solves the issue, right? It's whatever we need to build to make sure we scale what is not enabling you to book 10x the meetings for this customer. We're just running agents to get to those meetings. Yeah. We don't want people to be using tools. We want people to be receiving outcomes. We build technology around it, which scales and gives us infinite leverage. And if you have like 10 stellar first 10 hires, chances are you're going to build something great. We think of Fox is nothing without its people. And we really mean that. And that's why we made such a big focus on being here, attracting great talent. And it's pretty out from us. This morning, we're catching up with the team from Throxy. They're a Y Combinator backed company. It seems to be that they pretty much are a one stop shop for outbound sales across a pretty wide range of industries. They've got this beautiful office here. So we're going to catch up with them today, see what's happening in their world, see what challenges they're currently facing, and let's see what's up. Hey, man. How are you? Nice to meet you. This is where the sales team sits. So it, most of the time they're like outside seeing clients and stuff. So, <laughs> and then um, the product team, which are like in meeting right now. I've seen this. Uh, You've seen it on, it's on, it's on, uh, on, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the spot, huh? What's this? Are you the magic behind LinkedIn? Yeah. We're rolling out a new product, which is essentially solving the issue with um, when companies go to a conference, they don't know who to speak and they don't have the meetings pre-arranged and they just spend the whole day like going from booth to booth without knowing who to go and speak with. And instead what Throxy solves for you is it gives you like a predefined schedule of like, this is who you should meet. It like books the meetings for you in advance. So you just like, okay, look at your calendar and be like, okay, I'm gonna have a coffee with Mike at 9 a.m., uh, coffee with Claudia at 10. Um, and that's essentially what we're doing. And wow. We're dog fooding this ourselves. Um, so Martin and I are going to a conference next week um, in Valencia where I'm speaking, and we're going to be using it for for the first time. So, so like the like you receive a physical package where you can see like who you're meeting, what they're like, how you can help them like tailor to your company. We printed it in Dublin at 8 a.m. because we had the idea on Friday. We like we were working on the during the weekend to get it out, and then. Al, we, print, we sent it at 8 a.m. and he had to print it in Dublin. It's basically just the booklet, Troxy, information about the event, schedule of where he has to be. And then, for example, this is someone he's meeting, information on him, where they're meeting, exactly. Meeting notes, next steps. So, where, so that's scraping from like LinkedIn, like like a bunch of databases, right? Yeah, exactly. It's our own agents behind the scenes, like going and like doing all the research on this prospect, yeah. all the interaction we've made. So we'll send emails or we'll call, call this person before the conference. They'll be like, oh, I'll be in the conference next week. Do you want to speak and grab a coffee? And then the uh, salesperson has all the contacts there he has. So like, oh, this prospect is interested in this offering. You should speak him about this or this prospect has a company which has this thing. And then you just go there prepared instead of like having to like scrap notes one minute before and having no idea of what's going on. Oh man. So basically, like we, ha we know and this happens, I speak, like I've gone to conferences before and it's just like you go there and you're wandering around, like trying to find someone to speak or like go up to a stand you know may be good and then trying to sell your product, which is like very inefficient if you think about it. It's like no way to calculate ROI. Yeah. It's so it's much of simple. so much of sales is just like conference and like appearing correctly and just like being there and like positioning yourself in a good way. So the other person feels conference because people and humans just buy out of trust. They buy from other humans. Mm. So we just like need to make sure the people we're partnering with and are serving are confident in that way. Um, when once they're there, um, wow. essentially. So so the clientele. Hey man. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? You're late. You're late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got the 
Yeah. What is that? Um, watch out. So we have a tradition of proxy, which is when someone's late, um, they bring pastries for the rest of the team. Um, Stop it. And Pablo is of the team late today. I have a cold. Sorry, today. Yeah. <laughs> It's not the first time he's late. So, uh, so you get a lot of pastries from this guy, I yeah, assume. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Here we go. We're supposed to be locked in. Um, <laughs> and here we are eating a pastry. Oh, oh wow. no. <laughs> Really good. Mm. That sums up Roxy in a nutshell. Love that. This isn't gonna go well. <laughs> we love when people are late. <laughs> so basically, here each company has like this link, which is annoying because you have to go inside of each company individually and then find the domain. Right. So I think like five or six years ago, you would have gone individually for the 300 companies inside, like get the intern to do this. I would so, even say like there's companies that are doing this manually. Yeah, people are still doing this. So what we did, James, our founding engineer, what he built is, is this scraper where we can just, I can ask it, I give them a tailored uh, prompt. As you in, can think of it as like cursor for scraping and it will like literally take all the context of anything that's on the website and all the network requests of what's going on behind the scenes and you can just give it instructions. But you can just tell it like, go find me all the companies in this page and then go inside the links and then find the social links inside that sub page. So you can like tell it what you're doing manually and it'll spin up agents which go and do that research for you and they'll produce you the CSV like this, um, which is perfect. Um, so this is it working here. So let's go to this example domain. I gave him an example of the first company, which is VDS tech slash, slash exhibitor slash company name. I do it for all the companies and give me the domain you find inside. And then here you see it's found 283 exhibitor pages. Now let me text the structure logic. So now it's going to each of the pages and like trying to extract the relevant information. Um, and then we're enriching also this with our internal database. So every time we scrape stuff, we sync with our database and vice versa. So when we have missing information, we can just reference back. Um, and truly when you run this at scale, you get insane results mm. in terms of time savings um, compared to what like other sales teams are doing, which is just like have literally an intern or someone spend the whole day finding information for these 283 companies, which in our head seems like the complete opposite of what like salespeople should be doing. They should be, instead of doing these things by hand, having conversations. Yeah. Um, essentially. Do what they go down. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is real time. I have it here. Brilliant. So this tool, to be honest, feels like it could be its own subscription-based tool. Like, how is this? So this is built into the system, right? Yeah. But it's, it's built for us. It's yeah. And this is a launch product, or is this part of the product you're launching that you were talking about yeah, earlier? It's like an internal part. So we're in like we're in the business of delivering outcomes for. Our, customers. Yeah. We essentially work as a done for you service where a company wants meetings in their calendar. Yeah. We'll go and like sell them on the meetings, price per meeting, and essentially behind the scenes we're just running agents to get to those meetings. Yeah. We don't want people to be using tools. We want people to be receiving outcomes. Yeah. And every single pain point we go in the process of producing those outcomes we build technology around it, which scales and gives us infinite leverage, essentially. And we think of conference like a great way to book meetings. And we found by dog fooding internally, okay, this is really painful. Going to each single com conference website, extracting information, let's build technology that solves this with agents. Yeah. Um, and that's essentially what this is. Wild. And, and rogue question, what's wrong with the product right now? Where are, you, where are the challenges? What's going wrong for you guys? I think the biggest challenge is just like continuing to scale this. It's obviously, there's a lot, it's a very capital, uh, human intensive business right now because it's a service. And 
there's a bit, huge advantage of it being a service, which is we get instant feedback. We dog food the product a lot, but we want to be able to serve a thousand customers instead of 30 customers which we're serving and we have the demand to serve a thousand customers but we are very intentional of like if you're not a fantastic fit for us we're not going to serve you right now because we want to make sure that we're producing exceptional results if you're working with us. What do you think about this to have a chat? Wow! This is wild, man. Very, very, very cool. We're gonna start hosting like a lot of events here. Potentially, we're gonna do a live podcast here. Yeah. In which, like, yeah, we invite like some cool people. We have like some very cool names that have put their name on the hat already. Now let's make this a reality. And then we have everyone else here asking questions and everything. So it's spot one. I mean, lighting is quite decent, so we just need basic ones. But then there's like a smaller space, like slightly more relaxed with like a sofa in which we're thinking of doing like a podcast every single week. And that's why we want to like lighting recommendations, camera and, and everything there. What are you struggling with in the business right now? So Outbound has a lot of moving parts. And the problem with Outbound is if you're 80% there, you won't get 80% of the results. The, only the people that get replies, meetings and close revenue from outbound which is what our customers care about or when you're excellent at every single point so it'd be very easy to be like oh let me land in 80 percent of inboxes let me reach out to 80 percent of the right people and let me send 80 percent of the right message that gives you almost zero results so it's only when you've managed to crack it absolute crack it in which you don't go from one to two you skyrocket and it's finding that difference and the problem with that is sometimes you don't know what's the bottleneck so yes for deliverability which is whether you land in spam or not there are some checks you can do but it's hard if you're landing in spam doesn't matter what you do next you don't know what's happening then we go to the next bottleneck finding the right people yes i can get my prospects to try to analyze whether we're hitting the right people we can do it ourselves manually and that's what we do but how are you going to do that across 2,000 accounts? So we have to start relying on AI. Then once we have the right people on the right accounts, how do we find the right contact information? Once we have that, what do we say to these people? And it's that is our bound is super linear. So it's not enough just to be average or it's not enough to be top percentile. You have to be the absolute best. Where are we going? Look at the whole squad rolling out. This looks insane. There's this is an issue of not following our schedule to the dot. Yeah. Usually at 12 o'clock we leave, but we, we had a sales meeting, so we had to shift it. Let's go for Jace. Um, so yeah, decision making now in time, we leave. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, we're moving on, yeah. okay. <laughs> Ultimately, I think building a startup is also about like the small rituals, the small things that, that compound. Yes, I mean, getting those pastries essentially mean that I'm gonna be actually five minutes later, but it's not about that. A startup is about routine, hard work, and showing up every day. So if you start missing deadlines, you need to be responsible for that. So yes, I mean, it's 20 quid worth of, of pastries, that doesn't matter. But when you go there, when you the queue reminds you, well, I need to show up to the team and tell them I've been late, this is my punishment. People laugh about it, I'm back to work. I try to push the team with this a lot, like just disconnect, like take Saturdays off. As a founder, you love, well, like I, I live nearby, so many times I'm on a date, I come through the office, I see the lights on, and I can't lie, I do smile. I'm like, fuck, this hard work in people loving Throxy. But at the same time, the first thing I text is like, guys, 
Why are you in the office on a Saturday? Go out, have fun, you're in London, relax. And because ultimately, even like from a, the most selfish perspective, that I want my business to do well, you need happy employees that are not gonna burn out. So treat them well.